Hello and welcome to March's first Coke Club of 2022. So today we are joining our friends at Cartoon Network for their hour of code. So we're going to get started. The first thing that pops up um, when you use the link, and I do suggest that you grab the link from YouTube or Facebook or wherever you grab this video from, um, because it's just going to make it so much easier to get here. So we are using Scratch and Cartoon Network has given them the ability to have many of their characters in this video game that you are going to design. So if you want to, you can watch the video. It's going to walk you through all the various tutorials. So see all these little buttons? Those are tutorials that they're going to ask you to participate in. And then you're going to be able to go through the arrows and we can follow along. So I'm going to let you watch the video. This is a good time to pause, watch the video. And then when we come back, I'm going to walk you through the first couple of arrows so you can get started. Pause. All right, welcome back from watching the tutorial. I'm going to move myself up here so you can see the whole project page. Um, so if you want to, this is a good time to sign in so that way you can save this. And if you don't get to all of it today, you can come back and you can keep moving forward uh, the next time you have some of time for coding. So we're going to go to the first arrow. And now we get to choose our character. So that section is right here underneath our show screen, our stage. So right now we have Garnet selected, but if you wanted to, you could have KO, or you could have Red, or you could have Steven. And remember, I just added all these people, but you can't see them. So I have Steven selected and I have to change it to show for him to actually show up. Um, but I don't really need him, so I'm going to not show him. But I added all of these people. See, there's a little goblin guy, red. Um, but I can keep him away. Or once again, KO. Um, so you can choose who you want to be in this scene. I think I'm going to go for Pearl, so I'm going to keep her active. I am going to make KO disappear and I'm going to have Garnet disappear. So that way I have Pearl. Is she, I don't know, she doesn't really like show up on the background. So maybe I will change this to Chloe instead. Yep, I can see her much better. So bye bye Pearl. I'm going to shut her off again. Okay, so I like the fact that Chloe is jumping towards this red dot, which is going to be great. So then we get to say something. So it wants us to say something. So I'm going to move this a little bit down so I can see more of my screen. So we're going to go to say something, which is purple um, or looks. So it says say something for so many seconds. So we're going to drag that and put it in our workspace. The other thing we're going to do is events. So we're going to have our little when arrow is clicked, we're going to say something. So now you can say hello, and I'm going to change it to gotcha. Um, and I can have it for however many seconds I want. So I'm just going to make this four so it just stays on the screen a little longer. So then it says that we want to make it so our character goes wherever our mouse is on the screen and they added a loop because remember loops make things for um makes our actions or um something that we want to happen happen always or so many times so we need to go to control and we have a forever because they want us to do the mouse clicker for forever so we're going to put that on here and then we're going to go to sensing because that's where our mouse is going to be. Um, so it says we need the one that has glide as the first word. So we're going to look for glide. Ask key space. Glide. Oops, motion. Sorry, that's in motion. That's why we couldn't find it. Um, so we're going to go for glide. 
and we can either choose the one that says seconds or we can say a specific point because we're using our mouse we need the so many seconds so they have slide one or they have point zero three zero point three seconds and instead of to a random position we're going to have a mouse pointer so now we can test this and so we can have our getting our person going oops i have this all on pearl so that is not going to work now she's not going to do what i want her to do so i am going to have to redo all of this on chloe but guess what that gives me more time to practice so see, once I'm on Chloe, uh -huh, always notice the character in the top, we are going to have to do this again. So we're going to go to event. We're going to grab the starting button. Then we're going to go to where they say something. And remember, I said, gotcha. She looks like a person who would say, gotcha. And I changed this to four seconds so it would show up on the screen longer. And then we go to our control and we add our loop and then motion. So we're telling it where to go. So we're going to go to glide and they have it for 0.3 and instead of random mouse pointer. So now when I start, I can put this wherever I want her to go and she follows my mouse around the screen yay so we got that going Good stop. so now we're going to choose our objects we're going to choose this gem because we want her to catch the gem and it is visible so we can see it and then we can go to collecting objects so let us bring out our event. So when clicked, and then we need a loop. So we're gonna have a forever. And then it says, wait until. So wait until, and then we have to choose touching. So this is a sensing, so touching pull this and stick it into that little box and instead of mouse pointer we are going to choose our character so my character is Chloe so we stick that in there and then we have a start sound because we want it to make a sound so start sound and collect is the chosen one and that sounds good and then we want this object to then go to another random position on the screen for us to collect so we are going to motion and we're going to have a go to random position. And so now we can test this and it says gotcha, but it doesn't really work if she's not. All right. So at this point, your character now has the ability to move around the screen. It has the ability to collect a gem. So according to our video, we now need to do a point system. So that way you can actually see how many times your character has collected the gem. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and that you have the ability to follow along and create your own name using your favorite Cartoon Network characters. All right, bye for now.